I received a new shipment of conifers from Conifer Kingdom. My voice may sound a little weird because I'm getting over a cold, but I wanted to show you guys what I've got here. The first one is the two gallon blue Norway spruce. And actually, I honestly wasn't aware that there was a blue cultivar of Norway spruce until this summer when I was kind of digging through Conifer Kingdom's website. Actually, it wasn't even on Conifer Kingdom. I saw it on wilsonbrothersgardens.com. And I guess apparently it's not really a full-size tree. It's kind of a dwarf. But some of the pictures I saw were pretty large, like maybe 10 feet high. So. I have a spot where I don't need a lot of height, so I'm going to try one of these blue Norway spruces. But right out of the box it looks really good. You can see it definitely has a bluish cast to most of the needles, at least on the outside. Some of the inner ones seem to be classic green. So we'll see how it turns out. And the tree looks very nice as usual for Conifer Kingdom. It's a high quality nursery. Also, in the same shipment, I received this. A new oriental spruce, Picea orientalis. This one is the Van Speybrock, I think is the cultivar name. And I just wanted to try it. I'm not really satisfied with the shape of the branching here. You can notice this uh, pretty significant side branch that they've allowed to sap a lot of the strength from the main leader over here. So I'm kind of uh, disappointed with the, the growers there for not catching that and making a quick adjustment at some point in the past. So. You need to stay on top of your game, Conifer Kingdom. You're slacking off. I'm still, uh, you know, going to plant this, obviously. It's going to be a really cool conifer because oriental spruces grow very well here in Middle Tennessee. So there's that. You can see the very delicate, it's actually hard to convey how small the um, foliage is. Let's see if we can get this. Look at the size of the needles. Really short. And uh, obviously not, not sharp at all. Very soft to the touch. And lastly, I got one more thing from Conifer Kingdom. This one is a hybrid spruce, which to me almost looks like a, a dwarf here, but on the website it's described as a full-size tree eventually. And you can see it definitely has a bluish cast to the needles as well. Those two or maybe three or four white stomatal bands covered in the whitish glaucous material. As a reminder to anyone who hasn't, hasn't heard me say this in the past, Conifers that have a bluish hue, there's not actually anything blue about them. They're green trees, but there's a white powder covering the needles, and the combined effect is this sort of sea green color, which under the right lighting can look blue. But back to this. What is this? This one's going to be a complex one. We actually are looking at three species of tree in this pot. And I'll tell you how. First of all, the rootstock is, it's grafted. So let me show you that. Hold on here. Okay, and there's the grafting point. The rootstock is almost certainly Picea abies, Norway spruce. The top side is two spruces from Northeast Asia. 
I'll show you on the tag here. We've got uh, Picea glenii and Picea jesuensis. And Picea glenii grows on the island of Sakhalin, which is part of far eastern Russia, just north of Japan. And Picea jesuensis grows on the northern island of Japan called Hokkaido. So these are two northeast Pacific spruces that I don't know how they're going to react to the heat and humidity of Tennessee, but I'll probably try to put them in a spot where they get plenty of afternoon shade. But they do I like moisture because those are both moist environments. So if I have a part shade, plenty of moisture location, I'm going to try to put this little thing in the ground and see what it does. But wait, there's more. Here's a new Norway spruce that I put in the ground. Oops, the dogs are loving this cold weather. This new Norway spruce I got from Lowe's and I put it in the ground in a spot where actually you can kind of see this disturbed ground here. This is where one of my large cryptomerias had died, so I decided to replace it with a Norway spruce and see what it can do. I'm going to be very curious to see how much growth this Norway spruce can put on next year in the ground.